So here I am sitting on the back porch and I'm working on the mount for my GoPro uh, to, to fix it to my scope, trying to get it adjusted so I get decent video. And I look over and here's this chipmunk sitting there staring at me. Now he's at about nine yards and the way my scope's set up, the closest distance I really have data for is 15 yards. So I dial the scope to 15 yards and I'm trying to estimate what my holdover is because the pellet is still rising to meet the point of aim. And in this case, I didn't get it right. You can see that the pellet just streaks right over this chipmunk's head. And of course my thought is he's going to take off, skitter into his hole, and you know it's going to be a while before I see him again. But that's actually not what happens. He scoots forward, not even a foot or two, and actually stops again to give me another shot. I really couldn't believe it. Usually a chipmunk never sits around for a second shot. So I was determined to not make the mistake again. So you can see I brought down that point of aim. I'm still aiming just a little bit high. And here comes the shot. You can see the pellet placement is just about perfect. I was really happy with this one. And he goes down. So not even five minutes later, I hear some rustling in the leaves just about three or four feet beyond where I had shot the last chipmunk. Uh, I hadn't even gone over and picked him up yet, and here I see this guy kind of bounding through. I'm still making adjustments to the GoPro mount at this point, but I've got it set up for a decent shot, and I know where the hold is at this distance. So the shot goes out, and it's pretty good the first time, but I take a follow-up shot just to make sure he doesn't get back into a hole. So here's that first shot uh, zoomed in. You can see I got the crosshairs just a little bit high again. I'm worried about that branch just in front of uh, where his head is. So this shot goes into the shoulder area. And at that point, you know that they've been hit hard and they're not going to survive long. The setup for these shots is the FX impact with the 700 millimeter barrel um, using a Donny FL moderator, an Optizon EVX scope. We've got the target healing adjustable butt pad really makes it easy to take offhand shots. Uh, the two chipmunks I used the Accutac bipod for because I was shooting off my bench. In both cases I was shooting JSB 22 caliber Hades pellets um, and they continue to work really well. So the following day I'm out working on the camera mount again making some adjustments and getting used to using the manual controls for exposure on the GoPro to try and get a a clearer picture on these videos and the squirrel comes walking by. Uh, I'm offhand at this point and he's out at about 20 to 25 yards so I'm trying to keep pace with him uh, hoping he'll find something to keep himself still. I even try to uh, fake some squirrel call uh, which does not have any positive impact. In fact he accelerates his pace and kind of takes off on me. So at this point I have a decision to make because he's getting to the edge of my property and I'm not going to shoot him if he leaves my property. I don't have a great shot. He's not particularly stable and there is some debris in the way and of course at this point I'm trying to make an offhand shot. But I decide to take the shot.
And I can tell you at this point, I regret pulling the trigger. I've now wounded what is a pest animal, but it's an animal. And it's not ever my aim to do that. So I know he's gone up to the tree. I can hear him moving up. And I start scanning uh, the branches up above to see if I can find him. He initially went one direction and then he changed direction and went back. And I could hear him um, up in this tree, which is now about 25 yards away from me. Um, and he's probably up 15 or so feet. And while this isn't an ideal shot because of the positioning between those branches, I felt like I needed to take the shot to end this animal's suffering. You can see I knew I had to thread the pellet between that fork and the tree. And fortunately in this case the impact was up to the task. I'd like to think that every shooting session gives you an opportunity to learn something, and this one was no exception. Make sure when you line up those shots, you know what your yardages are. It's really easy to misjudge that, especially at closer distances. And while missing an animal isn't the worst thing in the world, wounding one and sending it off to suffer uh, is pretty bad. Be patient, know your distances, know your equipment, and if the shot's not right, no matter how much you want to take it, don't. This is PJ from Wisconsin Air Gunners. I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe even learned something. Please consider liking and subscribing, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.